so hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another project in spring haven night so let's move to the my id and uh, as we are using eclipse and so here's the project which is called online examination system in spring and have a night so before understanding the requirements let's talk about the technology it's using mbc architecture maven tool for to manage the dependency and uh, deploy over the tomcat server so here we have a server as a tomcat server in my id and to programming language as a code technology it's using java as a framework it's using spring and to manage the backend it's using Hibernate under the mysql here is the database under the database it has a four table it's user result questions and exams so let's see unless like in that if, if you see the user table here in the user table we have a record one record which is admin so now let's log in as an admin and check what admin can perform and then we'll log in as a uh, user and uh, you can say student and then we'll see how a student can perform there so to run it i'm just going to right click on the project click on run on server i select my tomcat server and click on finish so this will be my home page if i'm a new user so i have one option here to sign up so i can sign up in the system before signing let's log in as an admin and check the details okay so here is my id and the password is admin at the rate one two three so I'm going to use this as a password so I just enter it and if you're worried about like how can you take the source code and how can you configure this project at your machine we'll show the details in a while so watch the complete video the demo first then we'll come to the point uh, where you can get the source code and uh, run it at your machine okay so as an admin you can add an exam so let's say I add an exam for uh, like CA and the exam date is today or say the date is saved successfully and you can see the exam list so recently i did one exam here so it's showing the exam to me if i'm going to add more exam let's say cat kit and i'm going to select the next date and now if i check the exam date so the cat is showing to, uh, it's showing the next day which means 12 that okay so here we have an option to search exam by name so if i'm in, like if we have multiple records and so on to filter the data so we can search exam by name so the ca is using in both so it's showing that both records right now also it has an option to edit and delete so you can delete the record you can edit the record now <clears throat> another option we have another module we have to add a question here so to add a question if you notice we just added this exam and it's displaying into the exam name it's cool so i select the exam name here i select the question let's say i select question one and i select the answer one like answer so it's kind of data that we are entering into the database so this data will display i say answer three and answer four for demo we will add some data and so forth so we need to choose the correct answer so let's say i enter the correct answer here as answer three and i click on the save button so data is saved successfully let's add one more question in the same exam so i'm just going to change the question numbers it's question two and all the detail will be same it's done let's add one more question question three and click on save data is saved now if you check the database table questions table it will show under the ca exam we have three questions now uh, add question is done now view result is showing it's right right now we didn't give any exam so it's not showing any result another option we have as i admin my profile and change password <coughs> let's log out and now sign up as a new user and start the exam let's say i log in as a demo user and my email id will be demo at the red gmail.com the password will be demo at the rate one two three again i enter the same password demo at the rate one two three enter some valid 10 digit mobile number date of birth so you can select any date of birth 
your date of birth and select your gender and click on the save button so user is registered successfully now if you check the database and view the user table again we will check here we have two records now okay so this user name is demo at the gmail.com and the password is demo at the one two three now log in with this newly added user and the demo so in a demo at the one two three I click on the sign in and you can see we have some plants right it's a paid services so we have some plants so according to the subscription like uh, for one month plan user can uh, pay 200 only and for the subscription one month plan is can 500 and for the six month 600 so different different plans are there so if you click any paid services then it will ask you to payment and then it start example start let's say i choose 30 days program so you can say 28 days left here so it's asking for this month only so let's say i enter some dummy card number and enter the card holder name and month let's say i enter month is 06 and year 2023 and cvc cvv so i enter some dummy payment detail and confirm payment so now the demo success subscription is approved now you can see the start exam option is enabled here all the exams are enabled and you can see the date for this user 20 days are left it means it after 20 days uh, this user cannot be able to log in because it's paid services okay so here this user can check the exam list so this is the exam which have a questions right now we added two exams but we added questions in one exam so that's why it's showing only one exam here when i click on the start exam and i select the exam and submit i will see the complete question also here we have a timer so it will automatically lapse after 10 seconds so let's say i insert answer 3 click on the next now again the timer will start and let's wait for 10 seconds it will automatically uh, and automatically move to the next question now you can see it's moved to the next question i click on the next and i click on the submit when i click submit you can see the result as two is correct and total three question was there okay when i i i view the answers so here is the detail of the answers like uh, question one answer is three it's correct and this was the wrong answer so it's showing in the red right color all the, all the details about the exam so uh, again we have result list so uh, you can see the result is pass and my profile and the change password now let's log out with this user and log in with another user with free plan okay so i'm gonna use b patel and i'm gonna use another email id for this user so let's say b and the red gmail.com and the password is same demo at the red one two three and some 10 digit mobile number i'm going to enter and the date of birth is saying with this so if you notice this is my user so i logged in with this user and going to log in with this user after entering the password now you have checked the paid process now let's see the demo for the uh, free process so it's a one day test subscription so when user click on the get subscription it will show only one day for the practice session also when user select this after one day it will uh, like uh, it, it will not allow to give exam or start exam for that particular user so again all the same options are enabled for that user now let's log in as an admin again and check the admin is able to see the result or not so i logged in just i logged in as an admin and if i click the view result i can see that recently exam even by that user demo user okay so thank you so much uh, like this is all about the online examination in the spring it has a timer it has a subscription plan so this is a good project for the minor project in spring have a night if you are preparing for the interview and if you are preparing for any interview in uh, java as a fresher or as experience uh, 
person it will be uh, good to explain this kind of project in your interview so the main point is how can you get the source code now so if you want a source code you can check the description box link there you have to pay the fees uh, about according to the services so um, you can have this source code also we have team that going to help you uh, remotely over the zoom or any desk to run that complete project at your machine also they will explain you all the things like we are why we are using this particular tool why we are running the application over the server why uh, how we are configuring all the things how we are connecting all these third-party applications like mysql and um, id that we are using and the tomcat server all that things also we have training session to explain the internal source code flow how the source code is working over there also if you want to join the end-to-end -end classes you can join it uh, so if you need it if you want to learn if you want to prepare for viva if you want to prepare for the interview please contact us uh, thank you so much for watching if you like or want more video on this topic or some kind of educational video you can subscribe the channel code one technology thank you